So we've got the same information that we spoke of. It will come in handy as we carry on with these sums. And again, we're working with two systems, AC, 230 volts, 400 volts, single phase and three phase. And we have a maximum allowable voltage drop not to exceed 5% of the single phase and also not to exceed 5% of three phase. And single phase can be in the format of 220 volts or 230 volts and three phase can be in the format of 400 volts or 380 volts. Note that if the voltage is not given we use what we currently are using um, in a live active circuit 400 volts for three phase and 230 volts for single phase. We will only use this single phase value and that three phase value if it is given. All right, so then bear that in mind that the percentages will just differ slightly. All right. The first question, question eight, it has four sections, 8.1, 8.2, 8.3 and 8.4. Uh, number one, calculate the estimated distance in meters between the dB and the pump for three marks. Calculate the voltage drop at the geyser for three marks. And calculate the total voltage drop at full load at the dB for two marks. Is the voltage drop in question 8.3 acceptable or not? Give a reason for your answer. We've got a drawing. It is given. So I can see a single phase dB. I can see there's a length there with a the load. Single phase pump, 3 kilowatt, 220 VAC on load, and then the second load would be 4 kilowatt, 220 volt. Interestingly, they use 220 volts. It is a single phase geyser here. There's a, a distance here of 10 meters and um, cable size of 2.5 millimeters squared. Interestingly, they don't have the meters or the measurement for the, for the cable here for this load. What do they want? Calculate the estimated distance in meters between the dB and the pump. Right, so they want A. Okay. Calculate the estimated distance in meters between dB and pump. Firstly, calculate the current I. Use P equals VI. We manipulate that formula and it becomes 3000 divided by 220. Gives us 13,64 amps. Now we have to choose a formula, but first confirm our given factors. So, if we study the given drawing, then we will find that there is no cable distance given and no answer in this. Uh, and, and to answer this question, we must consider a formula which uses distance L. Then also, a VD is not given. Wow. So, we're facing quite a dilemma here. Uh, in any situation, if another value is missing but is needed to do the calculation, then somehow we must find a way to uh, locate or calculate this value. So, we need to find, according to the, to the question, the distance, which is L. But we are missing VD. Now, here's the problem, or here's the solution, at least, part of it. We, we can't calculate that if we don't have the voltage drop. There's just, you know, any formula that we're going to use, we're going to need the, need the voltage drop. How do we find the voltage drop? Okay, so it's, it's not rocket science, but, you know, we, we, would, we would almost want to think with all the issues that we've had with memos and looking at the mistakes in the memos and even mistakes in the question papers that there is a mistake here that they didn't give us enough information now that would almost be the first thing that we would think of but actually they did give us enough information because the very first thing on the very first page as um when i do the welcome i tell you that 5%, the maximum allowable voltage drop is 5% of to 20 volts, and that would be 11 volts. We have to use that 11 volts in this case. We need to assume that the dB itself is like on that threshold. We need to assume that the maximum allowable voltage drop here 
is 11 volts for a single phase supply. In this case, a 220 volt single phase supply. And if we remember, we would say 5% of 220 is 11 volts. So we would say VD, uh, yeah, VD dB equals 11 volts minus VD geezer equals VD pump. How about that? Which means we need to calculate the voltage drop here in order for us to get that voltage drop here and then only we can work out that. Let's see how we do that. So what I've done was I've brought the amps over from when we calculated it. I said we're going to use this formula because this formula has got L in it and we can manipulate this formula to make L the subject of this formula. Right? So I gave us an answer of how we're going to go about getting the VD. To find VD pump, we have to somehow use the maximum allowable voltage drop at the dB. Uh, we use the formula VD dB equals VD pump plus VD geezer. We manipulate this formula and we say VD uh, pump equals VD dB, which is that 11 volts, minus this voltage drop here. So we have to calculate this voltage drop first. Um, for three marks, it's quite a bit that we must do, but we need to understand what it is that's that we have to do. So on a scrap piece of paper, because for three marks, I doubt that they would want to see this here. So you can put it in if you want to. I think you will only get marks for uh, what they want to see, which is probably this answer here. Let's see how we go. I say... Uh, again, VD pump equals VD dB minus VD geezer. I calculate the VD geezer and I say 2 times that constant, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 3 times L times I times small a. And uh, that is for this year. We first calculate this. We take that and deduct it from there and get an answer to inject into our formula to calculate that distance. So we say 2 times 0, 0, 0, 2 to 3 times 10 times 18,18. What's it? Amps. So we've calculated the current here using 4000 divided by 220. And then we divide all of that by 2.5 millimeters squared and we get a voltage drop of 2.243. We then take that value and deduct it from the maximum allowable voltage drop we've, that we, we've assumed that value. Right? We find 7.76 volts. We then take the 7.6 volts and inject it into the same formula which we've manipulated here already. And we say VD times small a divided by 2 times p times i we inject all the values and we get a distance of plus minus 51,02 meters right so that would look like that over there let's have a look at it again right so that 51 meters is what we measuring there you can take that and stick it back into that formula and see if you get to that voltage drop. Okay. All right. Let's carry on to number 2, 8.2. Use a denim A attached to answer the following question. So there's a table. Calculate the voltage drop at the geezer. Wow. But we've just done this. But they didn't ask for it. So we've done it here already. And we can do it twice over because they ask for it here now. Alright. So that's the second part or the second circuit here which we had to find in order for us to find that answer. So killing two birds with one stone. Calculate the total voltage drop at full load at the dB. And this is literally that formula that we came up with. 
in search of what we were trying to do there in question 1 8.1 we use that same formula that we've derived and we stick it now in 8.3 and we then inject our values and find that we find 11 okay that would be 5% on the dot of 220 volts it says here in, this, in the fourth question 8.4 is the voltage drop in question 8.3 acceptable or not give a reason for your answer and that brings us back to uh, the the um, welcome page where we say um, we talk about the percentage for 220 volts and we say it is acceptable because it is 5% of the supply voltage.